civilized brother you telling me that you will not feed an African child she will not if she's hungry you too she's hungry and she come to you excuse me sir can I have a hamburger you telling me you would tell that little child to get the hell out of here that you don't now be careful cuz yo this right here could really blow you up a young five-year-old baby hungry you see the ribs man African you telling me that you will turn that baby down from feeding that baby? Okay, now, now before I answer your question, I'm just going to ask you one thing. Do you love black people? Yes, I do. You love the history of black people? Yes, I do. You remember the history of black people, yes, right? Somewhat. Here's what I remember about the history of black people. I give my love to anybody else other than my people. I'm selling my ancestors short. So I cannot feed an African. I don't care how old he is. He could be two. He could be 80. He won't get shit from me because nobody gave my ancestors shit. When nobody could think for themselves. In other words, all of the people listening to that message cannot go and, and, and do the research and find out on their own if Brother Polite or myself is incorrect or correct. I just wanted to ask you a couple questions. One, what do you think about the, the debate? What do I think about the debate, sir? Well, I think obviously there's pros and cons, but at the end of the day, there's more pros than there's cons. For example, 
I've been studying and researching since the 80s. And in the 80s, there's been a lot of segregation among our, our brothers. Different schools stood within their school and had conversations inside their schools. Now we're taking different schools and bringing them under one umbrella. And even though it looks violent, the debates and going one idea against the other idea, at the end of the day, you have to do that in order to show where are the contradictions because... I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. I want to go in another segment of uh, the, the uh, ISUPK. Uh, the Spirit had me to go back at them again because I was thinking when a, uh, the captain or whatever said, or this other officer, he says, uh, when if the July come, just forget about it. Put up uh, grills and don't grill anymore, you know. Well, these guys, I noticed, these this cookout they had actually in the middle of July. Okay, a little bit uh, not too far after what you call the 4th of July. Okay. And this shows the hypocrisy of what they're telling you. Okay, out there who's uh, trying to understand the truth, but yet they're out there um, grilling and uh, having all kinds of um, uh, uh, having all kinds of uh, acts going on with the um, with other people who are not in the truth. Okay, socializing with uh, people that are not in the truth. Okay, let me say that, and that's what I noticed, and this just spells hypocrite to me. Okay, this spells utterly hypocrite, and this is a group that calls us rapists, but yet they're saying that everybody should come down and and, and unite, but under the ISUBK. Okay, this is what they're saying. They're saying everybody unite. All you do is come down to the ISUBK, and all camps get together. Okay, but it's got to be under the ISUBK. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me go into the lesson a little bit. I just always like to start, you know, by showing the hypocrisy in uh, these uh, Israelite groups. Now, they also had a guy there by the name of uh, Elder Gabar of the GOCC. And I noticed in the interview, and, and this, these videos were taken from a few clips. I noticed in an interview, he said, we have to get, you know, pay respects to our teachers, Yeshaya and Yahana. You know, he never made, uh, you know, he never acknowledged the uh, the top teachers of uh, in Israel uh, going back to my teacher, Apostle Tahar, starting with Apostle Tahar, okay, and who is linked up with Apostle Gabar and Ramlab and Apostle Rakar, okay? Um, and this is not about making it, you know, an accolade session, but the fact is he just noticed General Yohanna, that's who he brought up, and Yeshaya. But this guy, he didn't bring up uh, High Priest Ariah, he didn't bring up um, Masha, and was, you know, everyone calls King Masha. He didn't bring up Abba Bivens, you know, he didn't bring up the, the more relevant. Uh, teachers of Israel I mean that's just what I noticed and this shows that they may have had something against the top teachers in Israel okay so anyway let me get us uh, let me get a scripture on that this is um, 1 Corinthians 10 and 21 it says ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils <laughs> you cannot be partakers of of the Lord's table and the table of devils. Now this guy, Elder Gabar, he calls himself Gabar, I believe that's his name. He uh, he believes the so-called white man can make it. Okay? Now we just heard this guy, uh, let me say the captain, or Apostle Gabar called him Capitano, um, to Zariac. He says... An African, he would never feed. You know, so I'm confused here. 
So if there is somebody sitting at the table, the worst of the worst of the enemy, uh, you're telling, you're saying that they can be de- delivered. And then you have this other guy, Divine Prospect, who says, the white man isn't Esau. And these are the people you're inviting into your cookout. But then you say that you would never feed an African, but you're feeding heathens, okay? Because they are they are, uh, neck and neck. They're holding hands with one another. One believes Esau can make it. The other believes Esau is not even a white man. So what does that make you? What does that make them? Okay? Then, to, to, <laughs> to kick it off, he just says any African. He doesn't understand that our people are different parts of Africa, not just West Africa. This is disturbing and it's disgusting. Of uh, It was proven that they're not just novices, they're hypocrites because the information is there, you know? So there's so much to go on in a lot of what a lot of these guys are saying. And the, uh, the guy in the beginning of the clip said, well, all the information, that's why we should debate because all the information, all this information out there, you got a man with a string coming out of his head who said, <laughs> who said, the, you know, the, the, the you know, following the Egyptology, they just got all kinds of a ball of madness. And the Most High said, this is what Paul said, let all things be done decently and in order. So you have a guy that is in your camp, that is in your cookout. Well, first you tell people not to have cookouts near the 4th of July. Then you have cookouts. Then you say, well, no, heathens are not invited. But yet you, not, you invite guys that accept heathens, okay? You, you invite heathens in general because that, that's what it means, a non-believer. And then you accept guys that are the worst of the, of the heathens or accept the worst of heathens. This is utterly confusion. And if, you know, it's madness, Okay, it's mischievous and it's madness, you know. You know, this is, uh, this other Jake said that the Hebrew Israelites should come and unite. I have no idea how the hell we supposed to unite with something like that, you know. How do you do that? Uh, let's go to Second John. Second John. The scriptures say it all, man. Okay, the scriptures say it all. It says, if there come any unto you, and what a lot of people don't understand, that when Yahweh was speaking, and he was talking about go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, there's, uh, there's uh, Israelites coming as raven and wolves. This was talking about Israelites. But General Yohanna says, it doesn't matter that all Israel need to come together, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. And this is either this man, this elder man, who's supposed to know the truth, he knows better, or he's just using this as a gimmick to make more money, to get everybody in there, taking everybody's food stamps and welfare or whatever, getting them off the streets, fixing them, but fixing his pockets. I, I don't know. You got to watch the scams and the hustles, okay? If you're going to be an Israelite, we're the first to tell you we believe we have the 100% truth. We're the, te- we're the first to tell you of the truth, but... Guys, that they're calling people in, the sisters in, and then hanging up on them because they're not paying tithes. That's crazy. Telling them not to cook out, not to buy turkey. This is insane, man. Second John 1 and 10, if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, this doctrine, not these doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God's speed. So he got the string man with the string out his head. He's there. Elder Gabar from GOCC, who says to flee to Egypt or whatever and deliver yourselves. The white man can make it as long as he repent. Okay. Divine Prospect says the white man is not even uh, Esau. You got the other people in there. He also, in his class, have the sisters in there who bring Jewish white men into the class as husbands. You got the other people in there on some other kind of consciousness that says that we come from, you know, celestial beings. And I don't know, don't quote me on that. They're just saying all kinds of crazy doctrines. And then, <laughs> and these guys at ISUBK, somehow, he lets them all in the cookout. He calls them his brother, right? But then somebody who believes, 
from Sudan that they're an Israelite, he wouldn't let them in their cookout. When Daniel 12 and 10 says, none of the wicked shall understand, okay? So if you're wicked, you're not going to understand. And you know what? It's, it's pointing more to a lot of you Israelites. You are fitting Daniel 12 and 10, okay? On the flip side, you are the wicked that don't understand, okay? Is this confusing enough, you know? This is Babylon, you know, and you got Israelite groups that are not set up by the Most High that is, is, is you know, is rolling in Babylon, okay? Matthew 13, 11, he answered and said unto them, this is Yahweh speaking, the one you call Jesus, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them is not given. So what is this saying? If it's not given to them, why do you got some big open house cookout that everybody can come in and you just feed the whole nation of people. They're only coming for the food. Divine Prospect said it. You got vegan food sitting on the side. I'm with this. Yeah, yeah. IHBK, yeah. You know, you can take any drunk nigger off the street, give him some liquor, some food, some hot dogs, and a burger, and he'll say he, he's your best friend. We all know this. We've been to cookouts in our, in our lives. We've seen family reunions, and everybody's part of the family that ain't even part of the family. They're just there for the food and the good time, the drinks, the playing the cards and having a good time. I'm not uh, condemning brotherhood. Brotherhood is very important. And uh, uh, a brother's a great millstone should be doing that. And if not, should be having more of that. I'm not condemning that. I, I believe in brotherhood. They are in that spirit of pushing brotherhood. But how far does it go when you have a brotherhood as uh, Paul said, let no schisms or anything come between you. And you got all these people putting ears in your, in, 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 uh, in different doctrines, putting their ears in uh, your men's ears. Okay. So if you're supposed to watch over the sheep, why you got wolves running all in there, man? Okay. I just wanted to make that point, man. This, this is not, this is not making any sense. And it hasn't. This is Isaiah 10 to 21. It says, The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God, Yahweh. Okay? That's who's going to return. Okay? A remnant. Not everybody. Now, I do understand reaching out because you don't know who's the elect. You don't know who's going to wake up. But, hey, you got the internet. That's what you got the street teaching for. You know? A lot of these groups don't trust in the Most High. In their mind, they feel they have to wake them up. Look, the Most High just gave you a simple job to do, to teach. Go out on the hedges, do videos, teach. Even if you get together as brethren and somebody come up and ask you questions, you teach. But if somebody coming up to me saying, they, they only, we all from uh, Egypt and that's all we should follow is Egyptology. And I show them the truth and they don't get it. And damn it, they got to get the hell away from me. Unless we work together, unless it's some social situation that we have to be together, I ain't going to talk about it no more, and I ain't going to speak on the truth no more. Okay? That's it. These guys, I have no idea what the hell is going on, man. Okay? It's a popularity thing with these guys. Okay? A remnant means a, usual, a usually small part, okay, member or trace remaining, a small surviving group often used in plural okay so it's a remnant okay a remnant which means an election and that's why we always push the election that's why we push a lot of things you got a lot of these israelite groups who are learning that's why when we get on them they'll come to our page and leave a comment why because they was watching to see what we had to say you know also say here, uh, something that remains or left over, okay? So it's a small number of people that's going to be delivered, okay? I have no idea why they think everybody's going to wake up. This is what General Johanna said. We ought to go to every damn body, you know? And another thing I don't understand, um, he also says, uh, he puts the camera and says, well, the sisterhood, we're just as tight is the brotherhood. I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt that. But 
let's face for uh, for their sakes, that's the case. I mean, come on. You men need to lead. This is about men. This is a, a brotherhood, okay? Sisters, you know, sisters, you know, you do your job as a sister. You love your husband. It's simple. You know, why do they make it so hard? It's just simple. You take care of your husband, you know? It's just that simple. It doesn't have to be hard. But these groups, they got to get the sisters in. They got to get uh, African conscious Jake's up in there or guy heathens. Let me say that, Salakia. They got to get people from all denominations and doctrines and then say at the end of the day, it's about the information we need to communicate and get together and this or that. And I haven't seen one convert, convert. You had the truth, you know? The scriptures just tell you plainly. Tell them the truth, and if they don't hear, reject them. There's nothing else you could do. Let them go. That's all I wanted to say on that. I just think this was madness. I just wanted to make a point on that. That this is um, you can't drink at the cup of the, at, you can't sit at the, the uh, drink from the cup of the Lord, and sit at the table of devils, and that's what it seems.